My name is Trish Blackwood. I reside in Island, New Jersey. Excuse my um recording video. I can't ever fix it. I don't know what's wrong with it. I just have a bad camera, I guess. I don't know. But um, it wasn't like that when I first started using it. It was like that, I guess, after the second, third, fourth, fifth time. I don't know. It, it sucks. This is what I have. Um, anyway, I am actually going to record um, and expose Eddie Haney. Um, it seems like he's actually being set up for this. They're actually uh, uh, um, echoing um, my word uh, nurture that I used recently before this, where I basically made a post that says, um, if you don't nurture the child, they become the monster. So, I mean, look, it look, <laughs> it's a thing. It's, it's sort of like these people, like, I mean, you know. They have an appearance of, they try to have an appearance of light, um, but we who basically know better are going to actually, um, well, see the difference in the hypocrisy in them. But um, the thing is, is that they're going to be using the word nurture. They're actually, it was, or um, instigated to, um, I'll say instigate. I don't know what word to use. Anyway, they're using words like um, God initiates us. That was said to actually me and when I was attending there by William Clay, um, which I had a problem with uh, him saying that because he wasn't speaking about God. Okay. And um, <clears throat> the thing is, is that, um, look, so this guy, he keeps making up things about faith. He has no idea what he's talking about. Um <clears throat> But these people, yeah, these people actually do worship um, their false uh, pastor's uh, flesh, if you will, um, <clears throat> as God. So um, they're constantly deceived by his deceit, um, which he does to them deliberately. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> the arrogant really um, actually just deserve it. Um, Eddie Haney is a very evil person. He's not of faith and... Um, so he tries to run to his lies and um, justify uh, his wrongs and all this, whatever. But um, they actually persecuted me out of their church, uh, Any Christ Church. So anyway, I'm actually going to be exposing how he's actually speak, speaking against himself because they're using <laughs> the single word uh, nurture in my statement that I made online. And so I don't know if they're influenced by like uh, another third party um, instead of like directly. But anyway, um, it's, this is what it seems like. And um, they're being exposed that they're not of God. That's basically what's happening. So, <clears throat> so because they're undiscerning and they're just echoers, um, like I said before, like, they, I mean, they just echo, like, um, true and false teachings from William Clay. They just echo them, um, blindly. So, the thing is, is that I'm actually going to be recording him speaking against himself, um, that he was influenced to do. So, he basically makes a statement that he has to nurture love. He has to nurture faith. Um, this actually is a inaccurate. He doesn't know what faith is. Now, the thing is, I did teach about what faith is when I was in there. He was not in the room, though. Um, but I was bullied by this false teacher who was just an, as arrogant. Um, a lot of evil false teachings. Uh, false teacher, uh, Lee King. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, so he would actually also copy uh, some things of mine flip it backwards this is a pattern of like evil people it's really terrible um there's actually a lot of people who do this so you'll see that among democrats this is um all right i'm gonna go on so i'm gonna um just record him um his false misinterpretation and actually as he's trying to basically talk about faith and works and actually, he's actually using the scripture that I actually used against them because they're actually all condemning works, by the way. Um, and basically the same thing that um, um, Jesus questioned, actually. Um, and so it's a label that people will put on people as a pervert. Paul's writings... Um, um, in regards to um, not by uh, works, but by faith. So it, from my uh, original insightful interpretation, um, it appeared to me 
um, that in the book of James, James was not contradicting against Paul. He actually copied that statement from me. Um, it actually sound like he said the opposite because it was bad recording. So that happens on my videos. Also, besides the fact that they're hacking into my computer and altering my videos, but, um, so these would be frauds and Pentecostals, um, a Nazarene church inclusion with well the volume New Jersey Police Department is because I am a woman theologian and basically expose all these churches to actually be false um, and against Christ Jesus. So the thing is, is that um, he basically um, Paul was not speaking against works, but um, James actually. Um, clarifies that and fills it in because Paul even makes a statement that the law is established by faith. Okay. Um, uh, he, it was about put, uh, uh, people are of like works only, right. Um, um, not doing things by faith. Uh, faith is the intuitive insightful knowledge within the spirit within, um, and I wish I actually have a lot of, uh, a number of teachings online regarding that. Um, I just shared one of them. Um, so I actually had a discussion with atheists actually. So the thing is, is that, you know, um, he winds up claiming that he has to nurture faith and he has to nurture love and that's what they do. And it's not, that's not how it works. Um, as a person who's not of love or a person who's not of faith, it's sort of like Jesus. Okay. I'm going to explain this. What people don't know about Jesus is Jesus was, and this was actually sort of stolen from me, but a, a little altered by William Clay. Um, and recognizing that Jesus, the person was the external uh, the external spirit for the people or for his disciples. Okay. This is why Jesus said, if I, um, do not go away, the spirit will not come to you. Okay. And it's basically coming within. Okay. And he said, and it is in you. Okay. So the thing is because they were dependent on, on the person till such a needed time to be one with the spirit within them. Okay. So, um, the thing is, is that, um, how do I say this? So in regards to Eddie Haney, now, he boasts in a lot of titles, like, hey, he's actually not a believer in the Christ or a faith. He's lived in confusion because they justified an evil man, Lee King, who persecuted me. And they wound up, like, all ganging up together and persecuting me online and believing in each other's lies. Okay? So, the thing is, is that um, they didn't like the vessel, uh, uh, me, that the Spirit of God was in because they had all their own false ideologies who we are supposed to be in this commercial image, if you will. Okay. So, um, the thing is, is that, um, oh, anyway, as he's sitting there claiming that he is while well, teaching, uh, what I actually showed them out of the book of James, that was actually against their false teachings. And they were actually condemning works. And I actually taught this book. So they're trying to teach it and they cannot teach it. And it is very simple, simple and basic. Like I've said before, um, so I used it um, a number of times when I was in there to simplify things. It's like there's their their idea of like salvation and uh, Jesus crucifixion and all this other stuff. They twist, pervert, and it's false. Um, but even at the book in the book of James, it basically talks about. Um, um, turning one um, back to the truth and it will cover a multitude of um, sins or whatever. Okay. So uh, somebody was aired. It's like the last verse. I think it's like five. Remember the numbers. 
I think it's 19 and 20, if I'm not badly mistaken. So I actually taught that actually to Dawn Reed when I was in that church. But apparently she, you know, was just filled with so many lies in her own mind and corrupted. She just couldn't hear me. So, um, you know, um, she wanted to sit there and slander me and bully me and take part in it or whatever. Um, and call each other friends while they're all lying to each other. So it was really disturbing how I, I've watched that happen so many times throughout churches and people. Um, but um, this is why Jesus actually said he came to bring division. Okay. Um, and of course, they like basically abused that and basically uh, separated me psychologically from my children and attacked my children, destroyed my children. So um, they think it's funny, but... Can they be even forgiven or guided, or are they going to still sit there in this in this confusion of their delusions? So the thing is, is that um, I know they like to scapegoat me for that, but I'm the one that exposes their delusions and their false lying, false teachings. So the thing is, is that um, um, so he basically is putting works before faith when he sits there and says they have to nurture faith. So I nurture, like I nurture a child or I nurtured like the ill or whatever by faith, faith by faith in God, okay, and God's guidance, okay, that nurtures the person. So somebody, it seems like somebody just, you know, he wants to play arrogant and stuff. So he's being set up is what's happening. So I'm going to go on. Uh, in, in the one definition is, is... Is each one of these they're not of faith and they're not of the love of God. So and they want to sit there and do this whole joy, peace, patience. They're not in peace because they are in their lies. They are false pieces of peace of the world, which Jesus said he did not give. Okay. So the thing is, is they actually pervert the words of Christ or whatever. So, um, you know, if we the spirit, it says goodness, but yet they're not of goodness. So they're not of faith. Um, gentleness. Um, I ba that was actually stolen from me when I basically rightly interpreted, uh, gentleness as, uh, like being conscientious, uh, cautious or whatever. And it was stolen from me by Frank Apolito of the Cal Vine Calvary Chapel. So, um, they pervert self-control. If, if they abuse you and you're like tormented, you're crying or crying out in pain or whatever, they'll sit there and say you're out of control. You don't have self-control. While they're sitting there mind raping you, gaslighting you, uh, perverting scripture, mentally abusing you, harassing you, slandering you. So this is what they do. And this is the type of man that Eddie Haney is, by the way. He's a mind raper. So same with uh, Lee King, William Clay, etc. Except William Clay is actually disgusted that they worship him. So he doesn't even believe in the true God, but that he's actually demonstrated that um, a number of times. So um, anyway, um, the thing is, is I'm going to go on. So the reading from the NIV, by the way, I just want you to know the NIV is an evil stealth um, perverted uh bible that is antichrist and perverts the word of god so of course there's going to be some that are like in sync and then there's a lot of it that basically is just grotesquely evil just like the quran so um i'm gonna go on that are given to us as gifts we have and i think this is where james goes with this and because if we understand his context the faith without works right our job is to nurture these things. We nurture. So he basically keeps saying that because I told him they'd take the scripture out of context. No, I do not. Um, but the thing is, he just spoke against himself. So he's like, if you understand context, and he keeps saying that over and over, wow, he sits there and takes the scriptures, the most basic book in the Bible, um, in the book of James, and not only uses a a book, uh, uh, a false forged Bible that is out of context. Um, he actually speaks against himself. So, um, and we're going to hear that. Like I said, it, he basically places nurturing the work that comes from faith. He says he nurtures the work to faith. So it's supposed to be by faith, not by works, but by faith. They don't understand what that means. And they used to try to pit it against itself, and it's not against itself. So then they, that's just why they basically are trying to 
basically use his book to act like, oh, we're teaching this when I told it against them. And like I said, um, not this version, but um, you're going to hear him basically, uh, yeah, contradict against himself. So, um, and he's not speaking by faith, by the way. We have, and I think this is where James goes with this, and because if we understand his context, the faith without works, right? Our job is to nurture these things. We nurture yeah, the gift of love. We nurture joy and peace. We nurture the faith that has been given to us. But all of those things are a gift. It is, yes, ours to nurture, but it's not my faith that will move a mighty mountain. So we are to nurture by faith. So this is what it means by faith that produces works. Okay. So um, he's backwards and he's taking the book of James out of context against what it teaches, what he says, what is it being said. So, and then he's perverting Jesus teachings, by the way, about moving mountains. Um, You know what? And my commentary, by the way, is original and it is, um, by faith that I teach, um, so they try to actually twist uh, uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 13 in their ungodly jealousy because I'm simply teaching rightly against their false teachings. And they're like, well, if you, if you, if you, uh, um, how do I say, how to say, um, um, but if you know, if you know all mysteries, but do not have love. And it's just like, first of all, I give that's love. You don't even know what love is. Okay, you actually think you can nurture the love of God, that God needs you to nurture love. No. Um, So they they always run quickly to a lie to try to bury me because I am of faith. And um, they're not of faith. They're cowards. They run they run to a lie every time. Okay. So, um. He's a liar. Um, it's what he is. He's a coward. Um, so. It says, it says, but if you say to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, it will be done. Okay. And whatever things you ask in prayer, believing you will receive. Now, the thing is, it's not about the mountain. It is about lining up by what you know, by the way. Um, Not just aimlessly doing things and aimlessly talking like he does. Um, And like these false teachers do, airing their own false opinions. Uh, Christianity has nothing to do with false opinions, okay? Which he often airs. So, the thing is, is that um, it's about... um, like a person is not who a faith is not going to sit there and go to a literal mountain and say, be moved and be ta- thrown into the sea. Do you understand? So it's like, okay, this is used two ways. Okay. This is about the, um, fig tree, but there's another one. Hold on. I want to use the other example mountain. Um, So it's used, um, oh, I'm going to try and figure out why it's not going through. That's because I had, there was Matthew in there and I forgot to delete it. All right. So, um, so as disciples try to heal someone and I, I've, like I said, I've used that before against false, uh, so-called faith healers, which they are not. Um, they fake, um, healings, um. Okay, 
So it's about staying in truth. And like I said, I mean, I've used um, a simple term that uh, it was original, was stolen also from me and did not line up with um, um, their false practices and teachings. It was Calvary, finally Calvary Chapel. Because I was, I teach, I'm like, look, teach people like real humbleness, have real humbleness is just speak what you know, not what you don't know. So that was copied from me. Um, by Frank Apolito, as he often continued to air his own false opinions and always talking about things he knew nothing about and continued in it. And it's just like, you know, um, it's all about having respect for the truth. I have respect for the God, God's truth. Okay, this is why I only speak what I know, what I've been given, because I'm in faith, okay? So, um, so disciples question, like, why couldn't they heal, um, um, what's the key to him? Um, so Jesus said to them, because of your unbelief, so assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there. Okay. And it will move and nothing will be impossible for you. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. I actually wrote this to William Clay when I was attending this church um, because it was being twisted. Um, I made a little, okay. So the thing here is basically... It, the translation is complicated because they didn't really like Moonstruck to um, Epileptic. But the thing is, this is more like what is erroneously, like I was speaking against it, of like a bipolar type deal. Um, but basically, um, it is described as metaphorically, it says, um, for he is moonstruck and suffers severely, for he often falls into the fire and often to the water, like going back and forth. Um, it says, so I brought him uh, to your disciples, but they could not cure him. And Jesus answered and said, oh, faith, uh, faithless and perverse generation. Now, faithless doesn't always mean without. Okay. Um, um, so I don't believe anybody is without faith. Okay. Um, they actually copied like my correction on that and actually echoed it in this, um, um, little so-called Bible study or whatever. Um, because William Clay is actually taking my teachings and actually teaching us them and mixing it with a whole bunch of confusion. So I have a number, number of churches doing that. I don't know why it's really strange. So I can't even think about why. So, um, is it how long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him, and the child was cured from the very hour. That's what it says, though. Then the disciples came and to Jesus uh, privately and said, why could we not cast it out? So Jesus said to them, because of your unbelief, uh, for shortly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will be moved, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible to you. That's metaphorically speaking, and it's not about the mountain, okay? However, this kind does not go out except for prayer and fasting, Okay, except for prayer and fasting. So it is actually a focus and is actually a cleansing. Um, so all right. So the thing is, it, it, it's not it's not about just going out and say like, oh, be healed and therefore you're healed. As just like, no, it's they you know what you're doing. And however it is being done, okay, and now however it needs to be done for what for whatever it needs. Now the thing is, it's like these people um, re, uh, visualize it as a demon. Demon. See, people have false ideas about demons, by the way, and um, you know, you know, they have images like you know, spinning heads and all this other stuff or whatever, and 
you know, split, you know, I, I, yeah, I use the TV exaggerated version, but that's what they do. Growling and, you know, whatever the case may be, scratching, you know, and all these things. And that's, that's, look, the demon basically means lying spirit. Okay. It's a misguidance. Okay. And, um, the thing is there is different, um, things and expressions of demons. This is why Jesus said this kind of does not come out, which is reflecting their, um, idea about it. Okay. And, um, but by prayer and fasting. Okay. So, um, the thing is, is that the whole point is, is that you're going to know what you're doing. Okay. So do what you know. It, it's all about faith aligning up. Okay. Aligning up. So, um, I don't know. I'm, um, so, and yes, it is by seeing, it's not by unseen. It's not something that is unknown. Okay, the people twist what faith buys, uh, 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 we live by faith, not by sight. It's talking about physical sight, by the way, but faith is insight. That's what faith is. Okay, and insight lining up with basically the inner spirit within you, okay, um, and what you do. Okay, so this is why they don't line up. You know, this is why, you know, what does it say? Uh, beware of false prophets. Uh, and it compares it to um, um, false teachers who basically, um, like, plucking, like, figs from thistles, okay? Thistles is like a weed or whatever, okay? And, or, um, is it um, figs from thistles or... Now I'm trying to line it up. Actually, I think I got the last line. I'm sitting there trying to do uh, thorn bushes. I don't know what it was. It was thorn bushes. But the thing is, is the point is they don't line up. This is identifying the false teacher. Okay. So this is why. Uh